the Philippines, home of some of the most beautiful islands in the world, and some of the most amazing food and culture you'll ever experience. It's also home to the most friendly, humble Filipino people that live day by day with a smile on their faces, regardless of the challenges they may face. As a Filipino American that grew up in the USA, I wanted to humble myself and experience what life is like living like a Filipino in poverty. The goal is one month living in the Philippines province on a 200 peso a day budget, which is $4 USD. I must live like a Filipino and experience every day just like my ancestors used to live and still living to this day. So join me on this new journey of becoming a true Filipino. Parana. Welcome back guys to day 21 in my Filipino journey camping in the Philippines. So guys, now nah, I want to ask you something. I seen this video on TikTok. I think it was TikTok, I believe. So this let's see. was proclaimed the best egg dish in the world. It's Filipino and it takes five ingredients to make. First, get yourself some nice eggplants. Give them a good wash before roasting them. Nah, can you make me that? What is it? This? What the heck? I just played oh, it. Oh, tortang talong. Yeah. That's easy to me. I really want to try that because you love see, guys, the um, eggplants. Yeah, I love eggplants, so we need to try that now. So, can you promise to make me that? It looks amazing. So, for people who don't know what that is, what is that? And explain it's to what it is. Eggplant dish with egg. Eggplant dish with egg. Yeah. So, is it served for dinner, lunch, breakfast? Is it uh, just any day? Any day. Okay. Any time. What's it best served with? What type of food? Rice. Rice. Tomato, onion, ketchup. Ketchup. All right. Well, I don't. I'm not really a fan of banana ketchup, but we might have to try it. I so. love banana ketchup. All right, now, so you lead us to the way. How, where where do we buy this? Let's go. Our favorite place. <laughs> Let's go. The vegetable vendor. <laughs> so Both we'll see that. you guys Both once we that. get all the ingredients. Yeah. We appreciate you. So be patient. Peace. Hello. Hey, puppy. We're going to have to knock, knock, knock. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, chow chow. Eggplant. They have the best eggplant right now. Yeah, so we always buy here. <laughs> it's so cheap and affordable. It's actually cheaper to buy at the market, right? Yeah, it's cheaper to buy in the market, but it's all they also um, sell cheap. So cheap, and there's no transportation needed. You just walk, walk. there. It's yeah. just two minutes or three minutes away from here. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect, perfect. You can also pet some dogs if you want, Joe. What kind of? Twenty-five. Can you give pesos. me some um, ten pesos? Can you grab it now? Oh, wait. <laughs> Thank you. So, yep, we got the eggplant now. Now we gotta buy the eggs. What else do you need now? Any like Let's tomato? Do you want some tomato? Sure. Let's make like a Filipino omelet. Really. It's there. So you really want tomato? Yeah, grab the tomato. Oh <laughs> so let's go grab some tomato because we forgot. So how much for the eggplant and the tomato? Uh, 25 for the eggplant. It's five pieces, big five pieces. 25? And then 15 pesos for the whole plastic of tomato. Wow, that's a, that's a lot. I know. That's 15 lot. peso for yeah, all that? for that. Wow. So now I, I noticed you called it tomatis. What is, to, why do you call it tomatis? Kamatis. Kamatis? It's a Tagalog of tomato. Tomatis? 
Tomatis. With a K? Yeah, K. What the heck? <laughs> Why don't they just use the T? Tomatis. <laughs> it sounds like tomato anyway. It's so windy. No, they got some nice boots. Why? Where are you gonna wear that? <laughs> <laughs> True. So now, what else do we have to buy now? Egg. I'm gonna get some egg. Now look at this pizza. What the heck? Where do you get this? Look Dance how big that. This is a huge pizza box. Very big. I love this store. It's so, it's so like, you know, tropical. Very. It's very cool. Now they got some Chucky. You want some Chucky? Nah, if it's cold, maybe. Yeah, they have a cold one. What are you buying now? Salt? Egg. Oh, eggs? Okay. Wow. Yeah. How many eggs? One, Five pieces. So ten each. I think each. this is enough. Yeah. Five pieces for ten. So a dollar for five eggs. I guess it's okay. So that's all the ingredients you need. You don't need no salt, pepper. I have salt at home. Okay. Wow. That breeze feels so nice now. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. If I'm in the shade, yes. <laughs> it's good. Would you rather have it rainy or like this? No, like this. I don't like it when it's rainy. It's so hectic. Yeah, true. So now, guys, we're going to go home and we're going to cook up this nice breakfast. Breakfast, dinner, lunch, whatever you want to call it. So we'll see you guys when we get home. Now, you know what I just realized? That you have a coconut tree. Yeah, but it's only small coconuts. What the heck? There's actually coconuts though. We can take those down and drink it. Yeah. What? I so we can to do. Drink those before it's good. Can you climb it? No. How do you get it up there? You have to um, find a bamboo stick and then you just poke it. Poke it. What if it falls on your head? You're done. Then you're done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, I didn't know idea this was a coconut tree. I just looked up and I seen coconuts. So. Somebody was trying to chop it down, unfortunately, but... So guys, we are ready to prepare. So 
What do you all have now? What do you all need and how much did this all cost? So we have eggplant. Okay. Egg, of course, and tomato. So how much does this dish cost? You're you're gonna make about 10, 10 omelets, right? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. How many Maybe. eggplants do you have? Uh no. Uh two, four, six, nine. Nine? So you can make nine of the what's it called again? Uh, tortang talong. So you can make nine of those tortang yes. talongs. Yeah. Okay. So, how much did this all cost you? So for the eggs, it's fifty pesos for five pieces. Okay, fifty. And for the um, the eggplant, uh, it cost me like twenty five. Twenty five peso. So seventy five, and then how much for the tomatoes? Fifteen. Fifteen pesos for all of this. So ninety pesos for all of this food. Are we gonna include the uh, oil? No, you don't need to include right. oil. So. 90 pesos for all this and this can feed nine people technically right yeah if they eat so that's a really good deal and now let's how do you make it let's so see how first you make step it. is we have to grill the um the eggplant so what you have to do is you have to put holes in it so you mm. have to poke it so it cooks inside like that. wow so it's gonna char up really nice yeah okay so there and, you, and then you have to turn on the stove. So you got your little grill set up here, huh? Pretty cool. Like that, and then you have to put your grill on. Wow. That's it. That's all you have to do. Yeah, so it's very simple. We're gonna repeat the process through with the, all of the eggplant. So just rinse and repeat, and then you should be good. And then once she's done with this, we're gonna show you what it's gonna come out to look like. So be prepared for that. So guys, we got a nice char going on these eggplants, and this is how it should look when it's done. So you have to put it here. Why? Because you have to put a lid on it so it cooks more, so it's um, easier to peel. Okay, so you just put it in there, put the lid on, you should be good. Yeah. That smells so good. If you guys never tried this, you need to try it. It smells amazing. Oh, one more. And then you just peel it, and then we'll show you the process after. guys it's time to peel this eggplant so is it all done now not yet we still have two left to grill. so what's the process so you all you have to do is get the knife and poke this part right here and then you just you skin peel. it yeah skin it like that wow it's kind of hard though because it's still hot so is it is that the worst part of cooking this yeah it's like harder to peel yeah so you can see it's a struggle. So, we got nine of these to peel, so it's a lot to peel. It's gonna take a while. But what do you do with all the the black stuff? You just throw it away, or yeah, can just you throw use it. That? No, that's already a charcoal. Oh. What about these now? Are these done? Can I pick this up? No, not yet. Is it hot? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> all right, so we gotta peel these, and after they're done peeled, then we you get to, to fry them. The batter. The, the butter. butter. The butter. 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 Batter. Whatever. <laughs> this one is. Butter batter. Say butter batter pick the butter batter pop. Try to say that. Butter butter pick a butter pop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's go peel these and fry them. So guys, we also decided to put some tomatoes on there. So these are gonna get super juicy. This is my favorite way how to eat a tomato. Um, do you like these type of tomatoes now? No, I don't eat tomatoes. You don't like tomato? You're crazy, nah. Why are you crazy? Unless it's on a burger. <laughs> For real? My mom's burger. Yeah, your mom's burger is good. Stop gassing my mom. Why? I like her food. Terrible. I'm gonna sell your mom. <laughs> <laughs> joke, joke, joke. Joke, joke. It's very good, mom. It's very good. You have the best burgers in Angeles. So guys, after you have done peeled it, it should look like this. Yeah, it's kind of mess, but that's not dirt, that's char. Yeah. So let's go make this batter. So, you need to crack all up in this um, eggs. Okay, okay. No shell now, no shell. So you got five eggs. You need to crack all five? Yeah. Jeez, this is gonna be a, a lot of batter. And then you have to season it. 
season it with what? Salt? Salt and pepper or whatever. <laughs> whatever you want. This is the final result of the eggplant dish. What is it called again? I keep forgetting now. Tortang talong. Tortang talong. So eggplant fried egg. Fried eggplant with the egg. <laughs> yeah. So we also got some grilled tomato. Yep, grilled tomato. You don't want any now? You sure? No, I don't like okay. it. But we have banana ketchup here. The famous banana ketchup. UFC. Yes, it's uh, it's good partner for the eggplant. So. What do you like better, banana ketchup or uh, American ketchup, Heinz? Uh, banana ketchup. You like banana for ketchup? For food, but for fries, it's good to have, um, what's that? Heinz. Heinz. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, I'll try a little bit of banana ketchup today. I don't, I'm not really a fan. I don't really eat it, so we'll see if I'll try it, but. You, let's just hurry up. Okay, so we got a plate of rice as well now. Alright, so. but first we have to pray before anything else. Okay, you start the prayer now. Okay, Lord, uh, we thank you for today's food. Uh, we are so grateful and blessed to have you in our life. And I pray for our animals to be fully healthy and go back to their normal ways. And also, God, I am praying for the person who ever is watching our videos. Please bless them as well. And um, I, I pray that they will have a personal relationship with you as well as we are right now. And that's all. We are so grateful. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So guys, this is the final result of the fried eggplant. So we're going to try it. It looks amazing. It smells so good. It's got a little bit of crisp. So how do we eat it now? We just, we just take a bite. Yeah, just take a bite. All right. Mmm. Make sure not to waste. Mmm. You guys know me, I love eggplant. So, if I get eggplant, any any type of eggplant is good. So, this one is just another level up. Let's try it with the rice. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I Let want ketchup. My, I love mine with a lot of ketchup. Can we try? Just, oh my god, it's yeah, a lot. I'm gonna nah. eat all of this ketchup. Just a dip, just literally just a dip. Yeah, that's it. So this is the banana ketchup, the famous. Guys, I'm sorry, I just never tried it like this. So it's got a very sweet smell. It's, it's good with the ketchup. It's man. good. It's good, but it's just not my texture. I want. <laughs> it's too You're saucy. So picky. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's actually good. I would get a little more, but that is super I good. just don't like ketchup and rice. Something about ketchup and I rice. I love ketchup and rice. You can eat ketchup just rice mm -hmm. alone. Nah, let's see. Show them. Show them a big gulp of ketchup. Let's Wait, see a big not... gulp of ketchup. You think I'm go joking? Oh my god! You like, yo, she UFC. You need to sponsor her. Cause she loves this stuff. I Why is it banana up. though? Why is it banana? I don't know. They use banana, or do they just say it. Maybe they mix banana and then tomato. That's crazy. So guys, let's go with the roasted tomato. If you never tried roasted tomato, it's so good. Is it hot now? No, I don't know. Mmm. So juicy. I forgot to put some salt in that one. No need no. So that, paired with the eggplant, it's going to be so good. Mm. This is my version of ketchup. Mm -hmm. She don't like tomato, I don't like ketchup. It's weird. Even though tomato is made out of ketchup. Mm -hmm. But so. the ketchup is already have like a good taste but when you eat raw tomato I don't like that see I'm the opposite mm. you get some water now 
It's such a hot day out, guys, but it's got a nice breeze. We, we need that breeze right now, no? It's so hot. Here. I'm sweating. So, yeah, no. Was this your favorite dish um, growing up, like, for breakfast? Well, I used to eat this back then. Like, this was your childhood, like, Food. snack? Not snack, but we, my mom always makes this. So how much is it on the street if you buy it on the street? Because I see them selling this a plan? lot. Yeah. They sell this for almost so expensive though. It's like 35 pesos. 35, 35 for each? one yeah, one piece of eggplant. Dang. And you can buy like ten eggplant for twenty five, right? Yeah. No, not twenty five, like five pieces. Because we have leftovers eggplant. Mm. But the work is a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. You have to grill it, you have to peel it, you have to fry it. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why they sell it. They sell it hot and hot, um, expensive. Yep. Because of the work. Yep. Well, I think that's reasonable. So guys, if you guys never tried this, you gotta try it. Mmm. So they're saying this is the best egg dish in the world. Mm -hmm. Apparently, guys, this is the best egg dish in the world. That's what they claim it for. The one, the the video we showed them. Mm -hmm. I don't oh, know if that's rice. true. Get some more. Can you go give me more some marissa? Cause my um, oh. my spoon <laughs> got a lot of ketchup. Fresh rice. Oh shoot, it's so hot. Careful. Is it enough? One more. Yeah, that's good. One more? I'll get just get there. I'll steal that one. <laughs> you still have a lot of rice in your plate. What do you mean? So yeah guys. I think we're gonna conclude today's video. What? If you never tried eggplant, you gotta try it. Shout out to her for making it and shout out to all you guys for watching if you guys want to show us um if you guys want us to eat something just let us know in the comments and we'll we'll be make happy it to make you. it as long as it's in our budget but yeah guys i appreciate all you guys for watching we're gonna go feast on this it's super hot out um we got a lot of errands to run but thank you guys for watching we appreciate you have a blessed day have a safe day and make sure you guys um stay hydrated <laughs> drink your water <laughs> drink your water <laughs> peace